Hey you guys, Alex here with Trippy Gaming, bringing you something a little bit different today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a solo Pokemon Challenge run specifically with Murkrow going through Pokemon Silver. So I'm taking my channel mascot and I'm putting him through the very first Pokemon game I ever played. In fact, the very first game I ever played actually. Um, yeah, Pokemon Silver was my... My foray into... My foray? What? I, who the hell am I? Um, my first jump into video games. Um, the actual challenge is going to be similar to the to the way it's been done. I mean, solo Pokemon runs have been done to death on YouTube, to be fair. But uh, I'm going to follow the same kind of structure that uh, my dry bread does. Um, so that means the rules are as follows. And I'll put them in the description. One, I may only use Murkrow in battle. Um, only, only Drogon can be used in combat. I can use other Pokemon for non-combat related things if I needed to do a double battle, which I don't need to. Um, and I can use other Pokemon for HMs. But uh, Murkrow is the only one that will be used in combat. Um, I will may not use glitches or exploits, because uh, that's boring. Um, and thirdly and finally, I may not use healing items in battle. Um, I can make it, I can make Murkrow hold items because I believe you can do that in Gen Two, yeah. Uh, but what I can't do is allow is just heal spam or X attack up to si time six, all of that stuff. And that's the way we're going to do this. Um, so I'm just going to wait. No, it's not day ten o'clock. I'm going to set my clock up. Give me a sec. As you know, my name is Alex. In fact, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all caps because that's what you that's what you did in these games, right? No one used lowercase in in like Game Boy Color Pokemon games. Um, I am ready. My po very own journey is about to unfold. This is gonna be tough. Maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's let's go let's go pick up our uh, our absolute monster monster starter Pokemon Draga. Do you know how to use the phone? Yes. I want to go on a- I want to go on an adventure, leave me alone. So, um, we got three Pokemon here, there is only one change that has been made to this, uh, to this version of the game. The first, and that is that this guy is here. Just to prove to you, just to prove to you, that everything else is legit. Uh, we've got Totodile here, we've got Chikorita on the right. So I will be picking up Murkrow. I have chosen to replace Cyndaquil with Murkrow because then my uh, my rival will take the Totodile, which I think will probably be the hardest one to deal with because it might gain access to ice moves. Yeah, bird versus giant crocodile. That seems what we're going to do. Obviously, this is Drogon. First objective is go and see Mr. Pokemon. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Alright, how are you doing, Drogon? Let's have a look at you. So, Drogon is a female. She's dark and flying. She's holding a berry, which is very useful. She started with Peck. And she has 13 attack, 10 defense, 14 special attack, 10 special defense, and 14 speed. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna throw that out there. Yeah, you're the guy that shows me around, right? And then you do you give me something in this game? Yeah, he does give me something. That's great. Oh. Well, no, a map, a map's useful. A map's useful. As everybody knows, I'm absolutely terrible at direction, so a map is helpful. Hello, hello, I have arrived. Yep. Give me the Pokemon egg. Thank you very much indeed. Cool. This music's bopping, actually. I didn't realize that, like, Professor Oak came and changed the music to something this hot. Okay. Sweet. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Here we go. I got a Pokemon in the lab. I know, right? What a wimp I am. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> Ooh, wants to battle. And send out Totodile. Drogon versus Totodile. First rival fight. As you can see, we're level 7. I picked up a couple of berries too, uh, which is nice. But we do have some replacement healing items. But, can't use me in battle. This isn't too bad, actually. Yeah, level 5 Totodile versus a level 7 Drogon. Get down, boy. I did indeed battle this person. I did. And it was you, Nick. How could you? How could you steal that perfectly good Totodile from Professor Elm? I know, I'll save money. No. Okay, so we've made it to Old Ale Town. So this is where we get our first gym. Not Old Ale Town. This is Violet City. Yeah, Violet City. What am I talking about? Where's Old Ale? So now we're just going to take on this wonderful gym and see how far we get. 
All right, so both of the both of those trainers went down pretty easy. Will the gym leader be the same? All right, what we got? He's got Pidgey and a Pidgeotto, doesn't he? Um, I'm just gonna straight up pursue. I didn't go and heal between the between the between the gym trainers either. I don't see the point. Um, I didn't really take a huge amount of damage, and I'm still holding a berry. So this is beginning to look like Trogo got crit. Oh yeah, go. This is beginning to look like this will just be a sweep. Yeah. Or, okay, so you do better, you do better on Pursuit than Pidgey did, but that's cool. Keep hitting me with Gust. Still a three hit KO, no crits. Oh, and we use our berry just for good measure. Go on, Dragon. You know what to do. All right. Pidgey are down. First badge. Let's freaking go. Okay. Oh, my dad's Pokemon. They're not even your Pokemon, mate. We absolutely annihilated you. Thank you for the money. And thank you for the Zephyr badge. <laughs> oh, this is the Togepi. Well, we'll pick it up. Thank you very much for the egg. Alright, Sprout Tower, let's go. Oh, I forgot to heal, damn it. Alright, now let's do Sprout Tower. <laughs> getting, through, getting through Sprout Tower was absolutely no problem whatsoever. Progress seems to be going well. Progress is going well indeed. Leah's got a Bell Sprout. Wow, what an actual surprise. Peck is just gonna absolutely annihilate Bell Sprout. We have a Hoo Hoo. We are dealing with a Hoo Hoo. I'm actually gonna pursue the Hoo Hoo. Mate, Sage leave and yeah, dude, you got absolutely annihilated. Thank you very much for HMO fights. Okay, so we got the first Pokemon that I'm gonna attempt to catch. I want a Mareep for using Flash. Hey! First ball, let's go! Alright, cool. So now that I'm in this cave, I'm just gonna quickly point out that I've also taught Drogon Mudslap from Falcon's Gym, just so I can get through the rock types that are around here. Ooh, this is the first time we're in a bit of a pickle. I don't have any more, I don't have any more Mudslaps. This has only got 10 PP. And um, this Geodude just used Rock's Throw, which is powerful. And what's more scary is that he's actually got more Pokemon. He's got two more, I think. No, one more. Okay. I'll match up. Okay. All right. I'm relaxed. I don't care anymore. No. False alarm. All is good. Ah. So I can't do the gym yet. Okay. Slowpoke while it is. Now, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, this guy is like an admin, but is he important here by any chance? No, he's just a grunt. Okay. Well, grunt, this is where you, this is where you die. Ah, I told you. So you poisoned me. But you didn't beat me. Now, I've just got to take on gym number two. So let's have a look, Bugsy. Let's see what you got. So start off with a Metapod. Oh, I'm, dude, I'm terrified. However, unfortunately for you and your very sad looking Metapod, I do know Peck. <laughs> um, here is the Scyther. The Scyther is dead now? Question mark? No, survived. Fury Cutter, I resist. I'm not afraid. Um, yeah, that was your one hit. Nice try, Scyther, but, uh, no. You have a Kakuna. Yeah, no, this is in the bag. So, that's Gym 2. So, still haven't hit a particular issue. Alright. Thank you for the badge. Okay, so now, it's a rival fight. Alright, Nick, let's do this. So, you have a Ghastly. I'm not particularly afraid of the Ghastly for one reason. And that is that I have a drama. <laughs> And Drogon's coverage is pretty sweet at the minute. I'm not gonna like ground, flying, and dark. We have Zuba. We will deal with the Zuba in the same way that we deal with everything else by pecking it until it falls apart. You haven't got a particularly bulky team, but he does have a Croconaw. Okay, I'm just gonna peck it. That is one beefy boy. Oh, it takes a bit of a hit too. So, Water Gun. I don't think I need to be worried. Sorted. Okay. Not even Nick can stop the power of a rampaging Drogon right now. Drogon just does not care about your family. Let's buy 25 repels. <laughs> we found your Farfetch for you. And it took us a hell of a lot less time than it did when we did it in, um, when me and Nick did it in uh, Solon. Thank you very much indeed. Now I just need to teach Cut to somebody. Can Oddish learn Cut? Thankfully it can. God Odd City means Whitney. Whitney, Whitney's gonna be fun because Miltank has rollout. This is where I'm afraid. Let's do this. Okay, I think this will be the first challenge of the run. Let's see, let's see how Dragon does. Dragon, you got this girl. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. The Clefairy will not be a problem. I don't think. <laughs> I really wish I had Dynamic Punch right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna pursue it because both hit neutral, 
Pursuit is more powerful than down it. Double snipe is fine. Thank you. Four times. That's... Kind of wish you didn't do that. Not gonna lie. Hey, there we go. There we go. All right. Pursuit it. Cool. So now we have mill tank. And of course, Whitney's mill tank is broken. But Whitney's mill tank is also quite weak. Oh, she's not as low a level as I thought. Um, okay, pursue. I don't know if that does enough damage. This is gonna do damage. Oh, that hurts. That hurts like a truck. Um, can I just power through? Yes, Drogon, be avoiding the rollouts. That's what we need. You might use a healing item here. Oh, Stomp's gonna hit hard. You don't! Yes! First freaking try! Absolutely! Oh, Drogon, see? I, I, I shouldn't have doubted her. I should not have doubted her. Thank you very much indeed for finally giving me the planes badge. Hey, it happened! Donkey Bye! Bye! Alright, now we take on Pseudo Widow. Will you be a problem? Alright. Bye bye, Pseudo Widow. That was easy. Okay, fourth gym time. Okay, so I'd absolutely. Oh. Let's try that again. So we had absolutely no trouble clearing out the gym. So now, Morty of Ecritique, what have you got for me? Where is your Rick? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So you got four Pokemon, I believe two Gastly's, a Haunter, and a Gengar, right? I'm pretty sure you've only got one Gengar. Might be wrong. I'm not complaining if you've got more than one. You know, probably good experience. But we will see. We will see indeed. We have a Haunter. A level 23 Haunter. I am not afraid of this Haunter. There was no need to be afraid of this Haunter. Oh, uh, Gengar's sprite in this game actually looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks very, very evil. Okay, live the pursuit. I mean, look. Okay. Cool, that was your one hit. That was your one hit, Gengar, and you, you ruined it. What can I say? You screwed up. Okay, so he does have one more Haunter. And um, that was also the fourth badge. <laughs> no trouble whatsoever. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, Dragon can learn Shadow Ball. Oh. So we have Peg, Pursuit, Shadow Ball, and Mud Slap. Uh, that is not bad. So I believe I'm gonna take out all the Kimono Girls to get surf. Do I need to be afraid of this Jolteon? No, I do not need to be afraid. <laughs> I would love for you to give me surf now, if that was cool. Please. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so we've made it to Olivine. The plan now is to get the fishing rod, right? Yay! Okay, I can use the good rod to get a Pokemon that I can teach Surf to. Alright, what did we get? We got a Magikarp. But I can switch train you one level so that you'll evolve and then I'll, then you will learn Surf. We get our Gyarados. We get our Surfer. It's unfortunate that it's not red though. Uh, but now, we need to take on the Lighthouse. That wasn't too hard. So, now you're gonna tell us that, like, Ampharos is a bit sick and you want us to go and get there's a wonderful pharmacy. Secret potion from the wonderful pharmacy. Okay, cool. Not a problem. And now we've made it to Sinwood City, where there's a photo studio and I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> you look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon? Yes. I got a Pokemon. Isn't it Shuckle? Is it Shucky? Hi. I need to, like, save the lighthouse Pokemon. Give me the thing. Thank you for giving me the thing. All right, let's do this. Okay, so that was no problem, but can I actually use strength yet? I don't even have strength. Okay, I guess I beat Jasmine. I saved, I got the thing, just like you asked. There you go, I'm a good person. Yep, go back to the gym. And so the destruction of Jasmine is nigh. Now I'm a little concerned about the steel types, I'm not gonna lie, but let's see. First try, let's see how this goes. Well, Magnemite goes down to Mud Slap relatively easily. That's fair. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, no, nope, you live. And you use Thunderbolt. That's going to deal some damage. <gasps> okay. Okay, so since I got absolutely annihilated on my first attempt, um, I'm actually going to try and... Uh, I'm just going to clear out all these trainers. I'm going to try and go for level 40. All right, attempt number two. At uh, level 40, can I get through the Magnemite? Magnemite down. The paralysis is not great. 
but that's okay. Oh no, another Magnemite. Okay, so two Magnemites, and... Ooh, and then T-Bolt. Oh, and Dragon lives! Oh, what? No, that's game. I'm gonna give this another couple of shots. Okay, first Magnemite, Mud Slap. Ah, paralyzed. Okay, okay. So Mud Slap is clearly the move to use. Mud Slap? No, it doesn't get a crit. Oh, Thunderbolt hit. Dragon, no! Okay. It's fine, we got rid of the Magnemite. So, I guess this is the real question of whether or not we can do this. And that's how much does Steelix take from a Mud Slap? You outspeed me while I'm paralyzed? Uh... We'll give this one more shot. Can Drogon live this? Oh, I'm sorry! Okay. I need to be able to one-shot the Magnemites with Mud Slap. So we are back. I only grinded up two levels uh, to level 42 because I think that should give us enough power on Mud Slap to defeat the Magnemite in one shot. No! Yes! Um, what I also what I also did is I also gave Drogon a paralyzed cure berry. Might give us the edge to help us outspeed the Steelix. And it missed again! Oh take it. Oh take it. I'm just gonna straight up go for Mud Slap and see what this does. That does nothing. Oh my lord. How much does this do? Uh, oh, it drops defense too. No, it's not enough! Alright, 45! <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. We're at level 45. Yes! Alright. We'll throw a mud slap at it first though, just because accuracy drops. No, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna change up. Dark type moves are special in this gen. And I don't think Steelix has a huge amount of special defense. That does a lot more, but steel resists dark, apparently. How much does this do? Okay, so it's a two-shot. So I'm gonna go for a mud slap now. Accuracy falls. Because I know Iron Tail has pretty rough accuracy. I'm just going to go all in. Oh, not good. Oh no, that's a crit! No! <sighs> the Steelix is a problem. So I think I I know that Paint Attack deals more damage. I'm going to throw a couple of Mud Slaps anyway. Uh, just for accuracy drops. That's not great. Um, and then we're going to we're gonna hope that that is enough. That's my thinking. Wow, that's unlucky. Didn't get a crit though. That's always good. So faint attack hits, resists down to yellow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's try it again. Tr crit, 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 crit. Oh, so close. No. All right. So that's two irons out. Two mud slabs. Both were crits. And you did miss one iron out. So you're going to hit me with one of them. That's fine. We're going to go faint attacks. It's just a game of luck. I'm sure this is possible. I really don't need to grind to 50, do I? Surely. Surely not. Crit, 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 crit. Yes! Yes! Didn't even need a crit. Boom! Jasmine's down. Drogon. Oh, you just could your walls could not stand up to my Drogon. Okay. That was that was tough. That was tough. That was the toughest part of this run so far. Not gonna lie. The minimal badge was rough, but we did it. Okay, where do I get strength? Oh, okay, so that's where strength is. So it's in Olivine. Glorious. Now, back to Signwood for the next badge. All right, let's freaking do this. I already screwed up, didn't I? Okay, let's try this one again. <laughs> now we fight. Okay, cool, let's do this. So I'm pretty sure to be honest, that uh, the Drogon can absolutely steamroll this dude. Should I have done Jasmine first? Uh, second, even? Maybe I should have done Jasmine second, because I just realized that Stevie's was like level 35, and that was a level 27, and this is gonna be a level 30. Yeah, I should have, shouldn't have done Jasmine first. <laughs> uh, next badge, nice and easy. This is, this is, we ain't having any problems over here. Okay. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Very much appreciate the Storm Badge, buddy. It contained Dynamic Punch. You and I both know Drogon can learn it. It is. I swear. <laughs> it can. It can. So I came this way before, but I believe then the next thing I want to do is just go towards Mahogany, right? Ah, uh, you can get a badge from Mahogany. Ah, uh, I just have to go. I have to go to the Lake of Rage first. Okay, cool. And now... We will battle, we will do battle with the shiny Gyarados. Let's go.
go, my friend. Dragon will destroy you. Ooh, no, it lived. Thrash? This is gonna hurt. Okay, no, it's not. Enough to do it? Yep, does it. Sweet! Okay, Red Gyarados down. Hey, Lance. How you doing? Oh, damn. I got paid toll. Fine. So now we just clear out the Team Rocket hideout. Story stuff. Yeah, not doing too bad. Thanks for asking. Hi. We're here to destroy you. First executive we have faced, and he starts out with a Zubat, and it's level 22. Dragon, destroy. <laughs> and it doesn't look like this guy's gonna give us much of a problem either. <laughs> Bring it on, let's do this. All right, the second executive. Oh, hi. Are you Jesse, by any chance? Hey, it's a mirror match. Whose Murkrow is better? Murkrow or Drogon? Oh, nope, looks like Drogon came out on top. <laughs> Absolute destruction. After this, I need to I need to clear out the electrode, and then we're uh, we're good to go do the gym. So I've beaten I've beaten three trainers in this gym, and I've just gone back to the Pokemon Center to heal because, of course, Ice is super effective against Drogon. So this might actually be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> All right, was thinking about that for a while. That 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 puzzle took me by surprise. I'm expecting a challenge, but instead we have a level 27 seal. Should I be expecting challenge? I mean, you are the, the gym leader that's after Jasmine, so I expect more from you. Oh, Icy Wind. Here we go. That's all it did. Drops my speed, sure, but maybe I don't need to worry. A Dugong. Dugong's definitely bulkier. So what are we looking at? At least it's two shot. Cool. Aurora Beam. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Dragon's got this. Bye bye. <laughs> Pillar Swine, Ground Ice. I guess I just stick to Faint Attacks, to be fair. Ooh. Okay, Fury Attack. That was your one attack. That's what you got. Wow. You can Hyper Potion it, but it's not going to help you. Do you know what? We'll just we'll Shadow Ball for the end. <laughs> Let's do it. Goodbye. Price, you were nowhere near as bad as I thought you would be. I was expecting more from you, so thank you very much for the Glacier Badge. So at this point, I've just left Mahogany so that we can do the Team Rocket stuff in Goldenrod. Now, we go into the Radio Tower and save everybody. Oh, okay. We are suddenly in trouble because I'm confused. And I'm hitting myself. Am I going to get taken out by a Team Rocket Grunt? Three. No. No. We're still going. Dragon is still in this. Dragon does not want to be defeated by a Team Rocket Grunt. And use Faint Attack, kills him one shot, and then we, we still do it. Oh, I love it. Dragon, you are the absolute best. You pretended to be the director. Okay, have no fear. I will beat you. Sweet, beautiful. Well, that was the fake director down. Ah, uh, now I've got this puzzle, but I've also got to beat Nick. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke, but I repay my debts. That kind of sounds like something you would say, Nick. <laughs> what you got for me? Are any of these gonna gonna be a problem for Dragon? Oh, okay. This might get interesting if Dragon can't break out of confusion. That's not great. On a wing attack? That's quite powerful, actually. Oh, okay. No, it's not too bad. Cool. We broke through. We packed it. Fat bat down. The Magnemite's no problem. I know I can be... Oh, yeah. Get out of confusion as well. I know I can be level 30 Magnemite in one shot. Bye bye So we got the Sneasel. The Sneasel's a dark type. I'm gonna stick to Peck. Stop quick attacking me. All right, Sneasel down. Oh, there's a crit as well. Let's freaking go. Nick, you are just feeling the sheer destructive power of Drogon. Oh, yo, I don't think I've ever seen Vir Alligator's front sprite. That's kind of cool. I'm afraid that giant alligator of yours, Nick, is gonna have to uh, pass out at my feet. Oh, it was almost a one shot as well. Oh, and it's still got water gun. It should know Hydro Pump by now, dude. But, uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Haunter, no problem whatsoever. Wonder if you'll evolve it into a Gengar in the end. Give me all of the experience. Nick, mate, what was that? Okay, so we've had a bit of a run around. The, we found the director, he gave us the card key, and now we're back in the radio tower, destroying the rest of Team Rocket. Last executive here. He's got three Pokemon. Okay, we did it. I will disband Team Rocket. Farewell. Ooh, now I know what we do. We can get Lugia. Okay, so now I'm going back to Cyanwood City, where I've also recently found out that that's where Flyer is. And I should have picked it up from Chuck's wife, but I didn't. So now I have to walk. God damn it, what a time waster. <laughs> now you can give me Flyer. 
Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> now to the Whirl Islands. Hmm. I've spent a while wandering around being lost. Um, let's not do this. Instead, let's teach Fly to Drogon, and then we will fly and we will go to we will go to the eighth gym. As I'm going through this dungeon, I will tell a story though. Um my first copy of Pokemon Silver, the one that I, the very first game I played, all that fun stuff. This is as far as I made it. I never made it any further because I couldn't figure out the ice puzzles and I just kind of gave up. Rightly or wrongly, that's just what I did. Wait, am I going backwards? Yeah, I'm going backwards. Damn it. <laughs> I am officially smarter than my six-year-old self. And now I'm here to take on Claire. All right. Not her gym, nor her puzzle caused me any major issues. So now, Claire, what have you got? Let's do this. You know, what have you got for me? Faint attack. Oh, did not kill. We got thunder waved. Okay, that is, that's possibly gonna represent an issue for this match. Surf is gonna hurt. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. I mean, it did only come from a dragon air, mind you. What else have you got? You got another dragon air. Oh, this thing has thunderbolt. <laughs> okay, that's some damage. That is some damage. Faint attack isn't gonna kill this in one shot, is it? Oh, it's close. It's close. Mm. Oh no, we're still here. We're still going. And faint attack connects. The paralysis here is gonna take me out. I think. I don't think that we will be able to do anything about this. You've got a third Dragonair. Does it by any chance? No Thunderbolt. No, it knows Ice Beam, which is possibly worse. <laughs> Okay, Flare might be a problem. Okay, we're going again. I've trained tr I've trained Dragon for one level in the hopes that this will make Faint Attack one shot the Dragon. If I can take them out in one shot, just like that, then this match shouldn't be too difficult. Kingdra's gonna be tough because I think it's level 40 and it's got Ice Beam, but I think, I think Drogon can handle one or two Ice Beams from a Kingdra think, because it's not stabbed. But we did take out the three Dragonair, which is really, really good. God, Kingdra looks so good in this game. Looks so majestic. <laughs> um, okay, I'm actually going to straight fly, because I believe I've still got flying stab, and it will deal more damage. What we got? Oh, that's damage. I've got it. I think we can do this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, though. But a faint attack should finish off the Kingdra. Yep. Eighth badge. Boom. We can officially go to the Pokemon League. Hell yes, you lost. There's no mistake, I annihilated you. Alex put the Dragon Fang in the item bag. Thank you so much for the Rising Badge. No, Dragon can't learn Dragon Breath. Hi, Elm. No, no worries. I'm just here to pick up the Master Ball. Thank you very much indeed. But now that I'm here, what I really want to do is go this way. But I can't go through Tojo Falls yet because I don't have Waterfall. Damn it! All right, I fixed it. And at the end of Victory Road, Nick is here once again. All right, what have you got, buddy? Unfortunately, you did not go to Sinnoh to evolve Sneasel into a Weavile, which is stupid. I'm gonna just fly. It's only level 34. Is this really what Victory Road is all about? Like, mid-30s? Damn, this, this game's post-game is gonna be real easy. <laughs> so far, I have to admit, this, uh, this challenge has been Quite quick, actually. Recording has been pretty cool. In terms of challenge, we've had Jasmine, and that was kind of the only roadblock so far. Otherwise, Drogon's just been an absolute machine. It outspeeds most things because it's so high level. It takes out most things too because it's got pretty high attack and special attack. Power of fusion. Okay. Okay. And I went for a two-turn move, didn't I? That was dumb. Yeah. I can change tactics and go for- ooh, that's damage. Faint attack is necessary right now. I might actually go down here. Three for three. Here comes the Feraligator. 38. You have been training this thing, although I have been training Drogon better, and you've still taught it rage. Still- still not quite a problem. No, it lived. Slash has a pretty high crit rate. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> As long as I still outspeed and don't get paralyzed. No. Ah, oh, damn! Nick! You took us out! GG, buds! Alright! Attempt number two. 
There's no difference. I, I need to be a little more afraid of the Magneton, though. I also noticed that the, the haunt has probably got Curse, which would be a problem. Still doesn't one shot though, damn it. Ah, paralyzed. This is fine. Fine, we'll take a Thunder Shock. No, Dragon! That's not great. That's not what we need. Oh, no, Dragon! Am I just gonna get taken out by paralysis and Thunder Shocks? Oh my god, what? Nick, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, okay. Sneasel's down. All we need. All we need is a crit. 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 Nope. Oh, and it missed! This is what we need. This is what we need. Thunder Wave miss. Beautiful. Attempt number three and the Thunder Wave misses. That is what we need. Alright, Golbat's here. I don't think Faint Attack- No, Faint Attack one shots, yeah. Faint Attack one shots. No, it doesn't because it's got Confuse Ray and this is the thing that confused me. Okay. No, it confused me because it outsped. I'm mumbling, I'm chatting rubbish. Third time's the charm, I guess. All right, man. You you can have you can have that one. <laughs> you beat you beat me twice. You beat me twice this time. Cause I think I've got you here. Even if Slash is a crit, it won't take me out. Nope. What else have you got? You've got the Haunter and something else. What do you have, even? What do you have? Oh, it's a Kadabra. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I would have traded with you if you'd asked, so that you could have a powerful Alakazam to be defeated by Drogon now. <laughs> but yeah, I believe this is the end of Victory Road. Um, and with the end of Victory Road, that means I'm gonna box everything I've got, and we're gonna go through the Pokemon League. Here we go! <laughs> Alright. I'm not nervous, but I'm curious. Like, how will... How will Drogon do? Alright, let's do this, buddy. Elite Four Will. What levels are we looking at here? Oh my word, is that it? <laughs> Alright, so we're dealing with 40s. This is cool. Can a faint attack one shot us up to? It can. So I don't think Will is going to be particularly challenging for this one. Can the Slowbro take a faint attack? That's a good question. Not looking like it can. Cool, sweet. Battle one done. No, it's Koga. It's the poison type trainer. Okay, so what do you start with? An Ariados. Ariados bug poison, so fly. Oh, really? We're going to play the double team game? Okay. Uh, we are playing the double team game. Not that it matters. Get out of here, Ariados. <laughs> Fortress. That's how bugs steal. This is also super bulky. I'm going to go for a fly. And if it just explodes, that would be perfect. No, nope, we're going for spikes. That's fine. We're not switching. <laughs> we are not switching. Oh, and it's got protect. Clever. Cool. Cool. It will resist Shadow Ball. It will resist Faint Attack. How much does a Mudslap do? Not a lot. You got Swift, it's a, so not even accuracy matters. Let's just go faint attack with a stab. Okay, this does all right damage. This is all right. Let's see. Yeah, I think you heal now. But yeah, you are the first Elite Four member to be dealing damage to me. You don't heal. Okay, cool. Mark is no problem. I'm just gonna, we'll do it again, it's fine. Might run out of PP, but it's fine. Oh, you, oh, minimize. I'm just gonna keep going for faint attacks. I'm not gonna waste turns on fly just for the sake of PP saving. Oh no wait, Faint Attack never misses. I forget that. I always forget that Faint Attack never misses. And Acrobat, this thing doesn't outspeed me. Oh my lord. Acrobat is like a glass cannon and it's got double kill. Okay, uh, bye bye. Oh no, there's one more Pokemon. There's a Vernomoth. Stabbed fly from a level 63 Dragon. Yep, done it. Cool. Elite Four number two down. All right, so who is this? A oh, Bruno. Oh, you're, you are just the same as you always used to be. Okay, so you're not a fire type Elite Four member. And he starts off with a hit on top. This is gonna be no problem whatsoever. Oh, and you've got Detect. Oh, that's nonsense. Are you always gonna use Detect while I'm in the air? Is that just gonna be a thing? Yeah, I guess you are. Oh, all right, fine. So we'll go for faint attacks. Mm, this will take, this is gonna take some serious PP. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that sentence on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't think that Fly would get walled by Pokemon that knew things like Protect and Detect. Hi Onyx. Uh, Sandstorm. I'm just gonna do it again. Take you up. We have him on chat. I'm gonna Fly. I'm wasting turns, but I think it would be better to one-shot a Hitmonchan than to three-shot it. Do you know Detect? No, you don't. Good. Get out of here. He's got two more Pokemon left. Ah, oh, don't- Oh, he's got Machamp. I think I die to Sandstorm damage here. 
Yeah, I think I just died. I, I think I straight up died to sandstorm damage. Bruno of the Elite Four is uh, the first one to beat me, and his Machamp has Rock Slide. Oh, it's subsided! Oh my god! I think we might actually be okay. We have a Hitmonlee. If I outspeed and hit for fly. Oh! <laughs> okay, we clutched it. I think we just clutched it out. <sighs> Alright, cool. Bruno, Elite Four 3 down. This is the this is the Elite Four commander that I find the most interesting. She's a dark type user. But her name's Karen. This is the Pokemon's answer to Karen, and she uses dark type Pokemon. <laughs> But this one's going to be interesting because uh, two of my two of my moves are essentially useless. In fact, three because because Mud Slap is going to deal absolutely no damage. Oh, we're getting Sand Attacked! Yay! Sand attacking, confuse rain nonsense of an Umbreon. But Umbreon is beautiful. I'm sorry, my mascot, my old mascot. I love you, but goodbye. <laughs> and we have another mirror match. No, I'm going to go for flies again. So that is the only time that Faint Attack will miss is when Dragon is flying. How much does this do? This does very little to me. I've realized I'm very low on PP for just moves in general. Does this one shot you? Yes. You and your false Drogon cannot defeat me. Hounding. Okay. I'm actually going to switch to Mudslap for this. Just to see how much this does. <laughs> All up. But I could use it for stabbing. For, uh, uh, to save PP. Flamethrower is stab and high power though. That is a lot of damage. That's the first, like, really powerful move we've seen in the Elite Four. Okay, cool. Houndoom's down. Gengar. Gengar Sprite still looks sick in this game, not gonna lie. There's just one more. This is going... Oh, it's a grass type? We'll fly it. Okay. Elite Four down. There is only one person left. Alright, here we go, buddy. This dude's sprite is so powerful. Everybody, when they were two, used to make that, like, pose with a towel. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we have is a Gyarados. Gyarados hits really hard, but if I outspeed and hit it, I think this might take it out. It doesn't. Oh, but it was a crit. So a crit does not take out the Gyarados. So that's Gyarados down and the rain's up. So how do I take you out, Mr. Dragonite? You're level 47. Let's see how much this does, because Flame Attack is still only... 60 power and i've got the paralyzed kill berry <laughs> one free respite on a on a on a thunder wave and he's gonna keep using it until i'm paralyzed isn't he but fly's got more power and it's still stab and still a neutral hit so dragon i will go down to a fly doesn't he have like three dragonites <laughs> he really does doesn't he i'm just gonna fly this admittedly makes me a little nervous because i don't think fly one shots and he'll two wave me here and he hits this isn't great because he and he's got Blizzard, what? If a Blizzard hits me, I think I just straight up die. Aerodactyl, the rock type. <laughs> oh, and he's got rock slides. Oh, that's some damage. <laughs> no, and I flinch. Um, is that the end? Oh, go on, Dragon. Oh, no, the flinch, the flinch. No. All right, let's attempt to number two this. I just have to hope that one Thunder Wave misses. I can faint attack to take out the remaining piece of your HP here, and then we just have to do exactly the same for the second one. I can't really be paralyzed for the Aerodactyl. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> oh my God, hell yes! Attempt number two and the two wave misses. Now that the Dragonite's down, I know that I can take two Rock Slides. I have to just kind of straight up go for faint attacks here. Hopefully one shots, no, two shots. Where's the rock slide? Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, that's a higher roll than the last time. It's fine. Aerodact was down. Oh, it's a Charizard. The Charizard's got Flamethrower. That's actually gonna deal quite a bit of damage. So how much does Flamethrower do? Oh my god, it was a crit! Are you kidding me? No! Oh, it used Thunder instead. I just have to hope for a miss. Because I know it happens. Mm. That's not how my rock slides work. I think I come back at level 70. I actually I actually changed up Mud Slap. Dragon can learn Icy Wind for Aerodactyl and Dragonite. Alright, level 71, Dragon. Does this one shot now? Does not one shot. <gasps> and you almost used freaking Hyper Beam on me. Dragonite. <gasps> this is huge. But can the Icy Wind? I think I think this might actually be it, because this will be quite effective on the Aerodactyl as well, which is huge. Sweet. Does this also kill? Please, come on, come on, go on. Yes! <laughs> I Actually, I think I need to fly it, because fly it will deal more damage. Flamethrower is an extremely heavy hit that I really hope that I don't have to deal with. Oh, no, I don't! Drogon takes out the Charizard in one shot! Oh, goddamn! This is what we need. 
one more dragon out. Can Icy Wind take it down? It can. Boom! Guys, we beat Johto. We beat Johto. So there is an extra thing to be done. There is, of course, the Johto, the Kanto postgame. I don't know you can fight Red in Pokemon Silver, but if we can, then we will do that as well. We are, uh, I'm actually going to disappear for a while because the Kanto gym leaders are pretty easy to beat. I will come back in when I've beaten all of them and fight Blue. Go on, Dragon. <laughs> it's just Dragon. Dragon is the only thing that is necessary right here. Boom. Yeah, champion down. Now let's, um, let's go for Kanto. All right, so I said I would be back when we were about to face blue. And, uh, and here we are. As I say, beat everybody else. None of them were, uh, were an issue. Mate, blue, let's do this. So powerful. But unfortunately, it will go down to a, uh, a super effective icy win, I'm sure. Rhydon will also go down to an icy win, I'm sure. Cool. Gyarados is next. Okay, we'll just go stab faint attack and immediately goes for rain dance. What is it with Gyarados and wanting to use rain dance? Like, does Blue have a Blastoise now? Sure, send out the Arcanine that's weak during the rain. Whatever works, mate. There's an E-Speed, a faint attack takes out the Arcanine. So there's two left. I'm pretty sure it's a Blastoise. No, I'm wrong. It's an Executor. So this should probably one shot. Yeah. Go on, Dragon. Show us how it's done. <laughs> and then finally, the Alakazam. Yeah. Wait, where's your Blastoise then? Blue doesn't have a starter at the end of this? I'm so surprised. I get the Earth Badge even though you used exactly one ground type Pokemon. Now what do I do? Yeah, maybe I'll just go red. All right, we are here. We have one level 82 Dragon. Those are our stats. Can Dragon beat Pokemon Silver? Let's find out. Yo, Red. How you doing? So he starts off with a Pikachu. Oh, this thing's level 81. Will it die with a single faint attack? I mean, it's only a Pikachu. It lives and then goes for thunder and hits. Oh my freaking word. Of course I get paralyzed, because of course I do. And then you use a forest door on the Pikachu. No! Still not enough. Yep. I think I need to awaken Drogon's true power before we do this. <laughs> we have a level 87 Drogon. This Pikachu is a problem if I can't take it out in one shot. Yes! And now there is a Blastoise. Level 77. We'll go with the fly. A rain dance. Okay, cool. Oh my- Oh my god! Oh my god. Damage! Okay, this isn't gonna- This isn't gonna kill, is it? Oh, and the blizzard hits. Oh, of course it does. I don't really know what to do with that information. I guess I can- I, You know what? I guess I keep training. Dragon is level 92. Red, I will defeat you. Somehow. <laughs> Yo, how you doing? Fly is the better choice. Oh, okay, he's in the yellow, he's in the yellow. And he hits with Blizzard. No! Blizzard doesn't even have 100 accuracy. And I'm so glad you didn't get the freeze. <laughs> okay. Two down. Snorlax is just powerful. Amnesia. Two shot, please. Oh my god, no. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh. I need Body Slam to just miss. No! I'm gonna give this another couple shots. Charizard. This thing's gonna hit like a truck. Don't know if I can if I can one shot a level 77 with fly. No, I can't. What are we looking at here? What kind of damage are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at a lot. <laughs> oh, we're looking at a lot. I'm gonna give this one more shot, but if Blizzard doesn't miss, then I'm gonna need to. I think I'll need to train up more. Alright. The Blastoise is here. So you'll use Rain Dance, and then the Blizzard misses. The Blizzard misses. Okay. Can we get a high roll, please? Oh, oh no! <gasps> and it missed again! And it missed again! Blastoise is down. I'm gonna faint attack the Snorlax. We'll use Amnesia first turn. So now he only has one opportunity to hit me for Body Slam. Okay. Don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para. Yes! No! Wait, maybe this is okay. So I hit you with a fly. Then I use Faint Attack and another Flyer. Oh, okay. Straight up Snore. Sure. I'm gonna Faint Attack it. I know this isn't gonna do a huge amount. This will at least knock it into the range that Fly will kill it. So Snore hits. Oh, 103. I don't know if that's enough to survive a Flamethrower. 
You wake up and use Body Slam, you didn't use Rest immediately, which is great, and then Fly Hits and Fly will take out the Snorlax. So here's Charizard, and then I've got to hope that, I don't know, Flamethrower misses, or it decides to use Sunny Day. It uses something that doesn't deal 103 points of damage. Come on, Dragon Girl, please. Oh my god, she lives! Oh my god, she lives! She lives on three! God, okay, okay, so she lives on three. She lives on three. What other threats are there? There's Espeon and Venusaur, right? There's Espeon and Venusaur. Faint Attack will kill because it's stab super effective and Espeon's not exactly the bulkiest Pokemon there is. Yes. Is this it? Is this it? Is Drogon actually going to do this? Come on, girl. So now the only question is, will Fly take out the Venusaur? Venusaur is bulky. Maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should have Faint Attacked first, but is this enough? Yes! Yes! Boom! Oh, 3 HP! Drogon turns around and says, Boom! And let the credits roll! <laughs> so, Murkrow versus Pokemon Silver. Pokemon Silver got quite a few kills on us, I'm not gonna lie. But we did finally beat it. Level 92 Drogon managed to make it through. Little bit close to the wire, but we managed to make it through to the end. Um, and guys, that is game. I hope you enjoyed this kind of uh, random little challenge video that I decided to put up. It uh, it was quite fun playing. I mean, as I say, like very nostalgic for me personally. And of course, doing a challenge run with my with my uh, with my mascot is pretty pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. I've sort of wanted to do it for a while. I think I mentioned it in. Um, uh, the Mystery Dungeon series. By the way, if you don't, haven't watched the Mystery Dungeon series, go watch it. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit random. Um, this is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit. But guys, that... That is game. That is Pokemon Silver. Um, if you've enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, that is absolutely fine. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, would you have tackled things slightly differently? Um, let me know what you think. Um, and if you want to see a little bit more of me, then hit that subscribe button. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of videos on this channel of me making games harder for myself. So um, this was one way to do that. But guys, take care of yourselves, and until next time.